Welcome to Abashiri. This is Meiman Bat Meimanetsu Airport. This is the first time I've ever been at this airport. Uh, it's small. <laughs> There's not many gates. There's not a lot to see here. I'm just picking up my luggage. I like the signs in English. It says welcome. I feel welcomed. Uh, you can see what's famous in this area by looking at the signs. Ice is famous here. Ice is very famous here. <laughs> oh, there's my suitcase. All right. Welcome to Eastern Hokkaido. This is cool. This is very, very cool. I'm on the other side of Japan. Welcome. Beef is also quite famous here, as you can see from the cattle on the on the signboard, and uh, also the signs for yakiniku. That looks good. I'm in the right place. So let's get out of here and take a look at the airport. Very cool. Right. <laughs> Let's see, okay. All right. This is basically like every other regional airport that I've ever been into in Japan. The layout seems to be pretty much the same. You have the boards as soon as you come out, of course, showing food. There's usually a convenience store. Hot coffee. Very nice. So you can run in and grab something before your flight. Check-in is at check-in is right next to the uh, uh, exit gate. So the departures and arrivals are all on the same floor. Very very cool. There's actually a bus that will take you downtown to the Drift Ice Breaker Terminal. That's actually where I want to go. I don't have a ticket yet. Drift Icebreaker Terminal. I guess there's not a lot of time. So I wanted to show you a little bit of this airport before I leave. There's snow. There's a lot of snow. And uh, I tried to Instagram live my arrival here. So I'm gonna go upstairs and just take a look at this airport before I go into the city. I have a feeling though that since there aren't that many flights to Abashiri, there's like, um, three daily flights here that there's not going to be a lot of buses so I better catch one and go go to the area it's cold as soon as I got the air off the airplane I could feel that hot air uh, sorry the cold air rushing in uh, to the gate so it's cold out there here's the departure people are getting on the flight that I arrived on so that's something and up here in the departure area there's some shops where you can buy gifts to go back home I like to come up here to take a look at the gifts so I know what to get uh, people back home and it's a lot of the Hokkaido gifts that you would find in Sapporo I'm seeing it right away there's a lot of Royce chocolate I love these these are the um, um, chocolate potato chips so you get salty and sweet I really like that that's seven they're about seven dollars 777 yen Hokkaido cheesecake. That looks really good too. These are things I'm gonna have to get on the way back. It's nice to take a look around. Hokkaido cheesecake. Look at how good that looks. Oh yeah. I will be getting one of those for me. <laughs> um, all right. There's there's a couple of shops. I like this. Apparently, crab is also popular. Neon crab. This is a pretty stylish little, little shop. It says uh, Marine Hokkaido. That's the name of this shop. And Marine Hokkaido has the koi beat the white, the white lover cookies, which are really good. These white lover cookies look like this. White chocolate, very crispy. I love these. 
And there's the crab sign right up there, you can see. So I guess you can get a lot of seafood here. Very cool. Oh, these are good too. You see these? These are freeze-dried strawberries covered in white chocolate. It's just so. Very nice. Very, very nice. So that's what it looks like. There's the, there's the departure lounge. And there's some restaurants here. This is an antenna shop for Raytar. Are waterproof headphones allowed in onsen and public baths? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. This is con crab ramen. Whoa. This I will have to try when I leave, okay? This is kani ramen or crab ramen. I will try this one before I leave. I'm gonna have to get here early. And this is uh, zaru soba. Looks good. And then there's another shop here. And this also has really good looking food. I, I didn't expect such a stylish restaurant here in a regional airport, but they happen to have one or two. And you can see it looks like a comfortable place to wait for your airplane. Filika. That's the name of the shop. Filika. Filika. Hokkaido Kare. That looks good too. I don't see a platform where you can go out and see the airport. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to go down now. <laughs> it's nice to be in Hokkaido. Oh, I, the bento was really good. I will post a picture of the bento on Asishimasu. I'll post a picture of the bento. For um, uh, Thanks for the super chat for the crab ramen. I will get that when I go back or I'll get it in the city. So I'm gonna put that to good use. Thank you for that super chat. So I think there is a observation deck. Transportation is limited. And because I'm really far up north now, it's probably gonna get dark a little bit, a little bit faster. All right, here it is. Observation deck. All right, so let's, let's take a really quick look up here. It's kind of spooky. Doesn't seem like a lot, of, a lot of people are going up this way, but we're gonna take a look really quick just to give this airport some respect. <laughs> I, I brought all my luggage with me. Hang in there, we're almost there. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna get, for real, a cold blast of air. Actually, I'm gonna leave my, my, my like, oh, I better not, there's a video camera here. Let's just go out and feel how cold it is, okay? Push, you ready? Whoa! <laughs> this is cold! Ah, the wind, there's snow, this is not Tokyo anymore. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the plane. Hey, BS Fat Boy, thank you. Welcome to East Hokkaido. We're here. We did it! This is so cool! You jump on an airplane and then you're you're on the other side of the of the country. Wow, that's the plane I came on. And this is another propeller plane, probably going to Sapporo. There's people coming from somewhere local in Hokkaido. It's a small prop plane. There's another uh Jiao plane. And you can see this is the airport. Maimam Betsu. Ha! Ha! It's cold! This is gonna be quite an experience. So I have a booking at a hotel. Check-ins at 3 
It's a little bit after 2 p.m. right now. Um, I believe there are buses, but the train station is a 10 minute walk. Nasha brought a good meal and beer. Thank you, my, my friend, because I'm gonna need it to stay warm. <laughs> now, on the other side, they wrote in Japanese kanji. You can see the, uh, that's the airport, Meiman Betsu Airport. So I'll go on the other side and see if I can see this. We're right now on the observation deck. Ha! It is minus, it's minus 10, they said. Now the, the um, flight attendant spoke a little bit of English and she didn't have to because I can speak in Japanese just fine to her, but she spoke in English. She goes, ah, Hokkaido is very cold. Take care of your body. She said to me, like, okay, thank you. I'm gonna take care of my body. Um, I have two, two jackets, lots of layers. All right, let's get back inside. Oh, it says pull. Thought it was locked out for a second. Okay, let's get back in. Ah, nice and warm. Why do they have tires in here? All right, so that's the observation deck. Let's go outside now, out the front door. This is pretty cool. So this is a regional uh, airport in Hokkaido. Thank you, Eric. I'm keeping very warm from the exercise now of carrying my bags around. I'm looking forward to checking in. But I also um, contacted the prison, Abashiri Prison, to film there. It's actually a, a prison museum. And uh, I, I'm gonna maybe go there today to go meet the, the people there. These the airport staff. So I'm gonna go meet with the people there at the prison museum either today or I'm gonna be filming it tomorrow morning. But this is cool. Get on an airplane, you're on the other side of the country. It wasn't that long, I think it was a little less than two hours. Okay, turn, turn the camera around. Uh, this says here, it's English here. Welcome to Meimanbetsu Airport. Mind your step, the floors are wet. Really? That's very nice of them to give a welcome mat like that. In many languages too, impressive. Samui. All right, and then the bus is right here to Abashiri. Let's see, how much does it cost? What is this? What is this strange substance coming from my mouth? <laughs> this is insane. All right. Okay. Um, name on Betsu. It goes all the way to Abashiri Kanko Hotel. That's where the prison is, actually. So, 910 yen or about 1,000 yen. Or $10 to get to there. About $9 to get to there. Let me see if I can see the sign at the airport. It doesn't seem like the bus is taking off anytime soon. I don't think anyone's gonna take my baggage. I hope not. <laughs> this is the front of the airport. Welcome to Mimanpetsu Airport from Abashiri Regional Airport, Hokkaido. Yeah. There's a couple of flights to go here. I came in through Jiao. You can see what it looks like coming in through here. There's the departures in the green. And then there's the sign for Meimanbetsu Airport. Very nice. And I'm gonna be taking this bus going towards Abashiri, the bus right here. Seems like they're taking off right now. There are taxis, but not many. That's good to note. There's some museums I can see here, a beautiful sunset. And then there's ice, lots and lots of ice. Boom, ice breaker terminal. Bring it on. All right. Okay. So, I'm gonna go to the airport. Information. Pay after you when you get off of the bus. That's good information. Not written in any guidebooks. We're making it as we go along. 
He said to put the bags underneath the uh, bus. I guess this is a DIY job. See, who wouldn't want to be you? All right, let's get in. This is Abashiri in Hokkaido. There's a link in the description to the map I'm on. Very nice rack for my bag. Okay. Okay. Alright. So it says it's 910 yen to get to the center of Abashiri. It takes roughly time. I don't know how much time. But this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad that I was able to share this uh, experience with you. This is um, Mem Memonbetsu Airport. Uh, I've never been to East Hokkaido before, so it's quite quite exciting. Um, it's a little bit after 2 p.m. I believe. It's two, actually 2:37 p.m. And my check at the airport is at 3 p.m. The the, the uh, I will stream from the hotel, okay? Because this is all funded by Patreon. I stayed at a hotel that's a step above where I normally would have stayed. It's about, um, actually this is the high season, so it's about $80 a night. I mean, it's not like five stars. It might not even be four stars. I think it's more like two and a half. But inside the hotel, there's an onsen. So there's a bath. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, show you a little bit of, of what um, the city's like today. I don't know when the sun sets here in Abashiri. Uh, in fact, most of you who are watching this have never heard of Abashiri, which makes me really happy because I was able to take you to a place I've heard of it's totally off the grid. It's from leaving uh, three times a day on Jiao, and I believe ANA, the other carrier, has flights here, so there might be five or six flights from Tokyo, and then there are flights from other areas of Japan, but Tokyo has probably the most, Tokyo and Sapporo. So there you go. It is snowing a little bit. If you saw me a couple of minutes ago, my breath, it's its like like smoke. I bet you if I threw a bucket of water out tonight, it would just like freeze in midair or something. It's really cold. And this is the kind of experience that I was looking for. Um, Mitani, and Kitani, Kitami is also a regional city that's close to here. Kitami is uh, a little bit bigger than Abashiri. Abashiri's on the coast. Uh, uh, Dim Jardo, thank you very much. How you doing? Thank, uh, it's, it's also, uh, Abashiri's on the coast and uh, Kitami is inland, but Kitami I think is a little, little bit bigger. Um, Abashiri is famous for ice, lots of ice, and the prison. And uh, I'm going to be going to the prison tomorrow at the talk with the PR team to see about filming. I've already um, sent, been sending emails back and forth to get permission to film up there and they've given me permission just have to narrow down the times it's really exciting uh, this is the kind of stuff that I like to do and and this episode um, is gonna be on the only in Japan main channel as soon as I can edit it and um, I'm gonna be doing only in Japan live streams and doing some special live streams for people on patreon because this trip sorry sometimes the Wi-Fi will automatically connect and not actually log on because you need a password or to uh, give your email address to log on to the Wi-Fi. The auto-connect is always a problem for live streamers. Um, Raj, thank you from Norway. Thank you very much. We're having an awesome trip. I appreciate that. Uh, the reception might not be good because, once again, I'm in the very north of Hokkaido. So uh, I didn't use up all my bandwidth. I have about 40 gigabytes left. It's, a, it's the beginning of February. I got lots of, lots of bandwidth up here. Um, uh, Caroline, thank you very much. By the way, I, I know Caroline is writing right now. You're coming to Japan really soon. I saw your message, so thank you very much. Uh, I will try to respond. I try to respond to all the messages on Patreon um, and on Instagram as fast as I can. Facebook's a little bit harder. Yeah, but uh, I, I appreciate everybody joining me on this on this trip around the airport. We're getting the bus is getting ready to go. Um, it's starting to get full of people who are on that flight that I showed you before, the propeller plane. And outside the window, it's there's a lot of snow. So I will see you in Abashiri.
from the hotel or somewhere nearby, okay? 